Hey everyone, this is Robin at Riot Audio. I'm very pleased today to show you Ghoul. Ghoul is a two-layer instrument for contact featuring aleatoric violin and vocal sounds, giving you a quick way to make some cool horror-inspired textures. Let's dive right in. So let's open up the instrument. On the home screen, we've got the sound source selection on both sides. On the left, we've got the nether, which is the A layer. On the right, we've got the yonder, which is the B layer. For each, we can access all of the different sound sources, there are 13 of them in total. There are five vocal or vocal-like sources and eight um, violin-based sound sources. They're all atonal or aleatoric, and they're spread out across the keyboard, including lower and higher than originally recorded. So they're stretched out and sometimes speeded up as uh, as applicable. On the home screen as well, we've got a balance control to uh, adjust the balance between the nether and the yonder, so the A and B layer, and also a master volume, which uh, is on the right audio logo, just in case there's a bit of clipping going on or if there's a bit of extra volume needed or something like that. That's on the home screen. On the layer screen, the second one. For each layer we've got high pass and low pass controls. So if I go to there you go, you can hear the low pass active there and the high pass as well. Okay, panning left and right of course. and octave choice. So this is an easy way to drop them down an octave or two, to slow them down or speed them up a couple of octaves higher. This is sort of speed up or slow down two octaves. So a lot of these sounds sound really good slowed down, which is why uh, this option is included. The other uh, controls are envelope controls, standard attack, decay, sustain, release. Um, so if you want a very quick attack and maybe something percussive which decays very quickly with no sustain. Yeah, you can hear that just about. Um, or if you want something longer, uh, softer attack, of course you go for higher settings in attack and release and maybe um, keep the sustain up. So. All the way up it's a very very long envelope so that will take a while to get going. So we've got these controls for both uh, envelopes here on this page. And finally, on the last page, we've got the effects. Um, the effects are split into two parts. I would say on the left-hand side is uh, the more kind of experimental stuff. So um, there's two impulse responses here, transmogrify one and transmogrify two. Um, they're, they color the sound uh, in quite a specific way. The first one, even though it's not a room reverb because there's an envelope to it, it sounds like it's going into a space. So let's just dial that one up on the first layer. So that's a sort of space opening up there. Uh, and the second one is a vocal performance as an impulse response and that gives it a kind of vocal quality to everything. And these impulse responses, they really come into their own when you combine them, dial them in, and then bring in delay and reverb. It can really transform the sound altogether. Now, both of these tend to bring in quite a lot of mid frequencies, so there's a mid attenuation control here to dial that back a bit. So let's try, for example, the, the second one. So it tends to emphasize the mid frequencies and then we can offset that bit with mid attenuation and lastly there's delay and reverb standard delay is not tempo synced on this instrument so you have to sort of fine-tune it if you want it uh, tempo synced the uh, reverb is just uh, standard reverb convolution reverb with different sizes For all the patches, you can use the mod wheel to control dynamics. And you'll see the uh, the ghouls kind of eyes light up if you bring the mod wheel up and down. So it gives you another visual indication of um, what dynamics you're working with. You 
you can hear this go from almost almost nothing to the loudest dynamics here with the mod here. So let's go through the patches then. And now let's look at the medium length presets. Now let's look at the long presets. <laughs> 